We are hearing a rare point of view tonight as data continues to show Tennessee ranks worst in the nation for the rate of new COVID cases. Ascension St. Thomas West gave News Channel 5 unprecedented access inside an ICU unit today to speak with someone still recovering from the effects of COVID but no longer contagious. That patient told News Channel 5's Jason Lamb, even if you think you've made up your mind about whether to get vaccinated, he wants you to listen to his story. How's it feel? It feels great. I feel great. Yeah. There's a lot in this room that helped Joe Gammon from Las Casas yes. get here. My wife made this collage. Yep, that's my that's my family, my beautiful family. From his hospital bed in the St. Thomas West ICU. I'm just a regular guy. Regular family guy. This 44 year old father of six says he's not a fan of labels, either one thing or another, either this or that probably like a lot of you. For one, Joe says he was never completely against the COVID vaccine. I've never been an anti-vaxxer. I don't believe in being an anti-vaxxer. I wouldn't encourage people to be an anti-vaxxer. I wouldn't shame somebody because they got a vaccine. A frequent listener of talk radio, he heard there was a COVID vaccine shortage, so he says he decided not to get vaccinated. And I didn't want to be the one person that went ahead of somebody that needed it more than me. Of course, especially in the later months of the pandemic, there was no shortage. Joe eventually contracted COVID two months ago. For an active 44-year-old man, I would have never, never guessed I would be in this scenario. But for all that's in here that's helped Joe, there's something that starting today notably isn't here anymore. Oh, I can, I can tell you this. I don't miss that ECMO at all. <laughs> uh, an ECMO machine, like an artificial that. external lung that saved his life. Well, I was on an ECMO machine for the past uh, probably six to eight weeks, and uh, I got completely off the ECMO. Joe knows most never get off an ECMO machine, but even as one of the lucky ones, Joe isn't going to tell you to go get a shot. He says he knows how it feels being told what to do. Yes, yes. Instead, He's asking, just go talk to your doctor. I think the regret that I have is that I did not go to my primary care physician to find out what, what his opinion is. Now Joe is focusing on getting better while, while for the I'm people who helped him get here today. Think about your family. What would your family do if you got this sick and you didn't make it? Uh, for me, I could not imagine leaving this world uh, at 44 with a wife that has to raise four daughters. It wouldn't be fair. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.